We're gonna smell this. Hi guys, this video is very last minute, but I really just wanted to get on here and film this for you. So this is a fragrance video, but it's basically just going to be like an unboxing slash first impression. I have wanted to get my hands on this perfume for the longest time. I was looking on Sephora. Sephora? Okay. I was looking on Sephora a while back and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it in store. I did end up finding it online. But I don't know, for some reason I just never got around to getting it. The reason why I was really excited to share this with you is because I found this at Marshalls for a crazy discounted price. Obviously, as many of you know, if you have Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross near you, they're basically discounted stores, so like extra, I guess, stock goes to those kinds of stores and they sell them for like a fraction of the retail price. And I don't know why I'm like dragging this so long because you can see what it is in the title, but I picked up Mark Jake's Jake's Mark Jacobs Decadence. So this is a perfume I've been wanting to get my hands on for the longest time because it's supposed to be kind of like an oriental perfume, something that not a lot of people like. As soon as I heard that, it reminded me of the love of my life, Alien. If you watch any of my perfume videos, you know I'm in love with this perfume. But this is a perfume that not everybody loves. It's strong, it's out there, but I absolutely love it. And a lot of the people that were describing this perfume, because I've been watching a lot of reviews on this, everybody was saying that it smells super unique. It's like a very green kind of fragrance, like green as in like earthy, it has like a grassy vibe. And the reason why I wanted to show this is because I got this for 26 26.99 it says compare at 42 i don't know but i know that this is i mean it's a designer fragrance so i know it goes for a lot more than 26 so when i saw it for 26.99 there was just no way no way i was not going to get this because it's it's a perfume that i've always wanted to try and i wanted to share this hopefully if you guys have one of those stores near you and you've been wanting to get this fragrance maybe based off of this review you can go and get it because it's super cheap for a designer fragrance it's honestly very inexpensive for a fragrance period because usually fragrances are a lot more than 26 dollars even the lower end ones i'm gonna open this off camera because otherwise you're gonna be hearing this i got it open it's kind of like this velvety box and this is the one fluid ounce so i believe it's a smaller bottle and the top of this comes in like a separate box Ooh, it's very fancy it's wrapped really nice this is what the top looks like i'm not going to smell it yet because i want to look up the notes before i smell it it's really cute a lot of people say that this um whole packaging is like super cheesy and just like over the top i like it personally it has basically like snake skin up here it looks like a little handbag i'm gonna first read off the notes a lot of the times i will look at notes of perfume and i'll kind of create an idea of it in my head and then i'll go and actually smell it and it's either like the idea that i was imagining it to smell like or it's like completely opposite so this has top notes of plum i love plum in perfume the one that i speak about in a few of my videos is rihanna's rebel fleur and this has a uh, plum in the top note as well and that's one of my favorites also so it has plum it has iris it has saffron it has middle notes of bulgarian rose jasmine sambac and oris and then it has base notes of amber vetiver interesting and papyrus papyrus okay based off of the notes especially that vetiver is what really caught my eye because i feel like vetiver is a note that's used predominantly in male fragrances so the fact that this has vetiver i think it's gonna have like a masculine feel to it which i absolutely love i love perfumes that smell just like a hint of masculine i think that that makes it so sexy basically vetiver is like this earthy woody like 
leathery kind of smell. I'm just gonna read off a little bit of the description. By the way, I'm pulling all of this off of the Fragrantica website. That's where I always look up the notes and everything. It says that basically each of his pillar fragrances represent a distinctive character. Daisy is a sweet girl next door, Lola is quirky, and Decadence is sexy and sophisticated. It's time for me to smell it. I'm nervous because I feel like I've hyped this up so much in my head that I'm gonna be so disappointed if I don't like it. We're gonna smell this. Oh, I love that. That is not at all what I was imagining it to smell like. That is so different. I feel like a lot of people made this out to be like a very earthy, grassy kind of scent. And yes, I do kind of get that vibe. But I would say the main thing that I'm getting from this is sweet. Like a vanilla almost kind of gives me this a little bit. I do smell that kind of like saffron. And I do smell a little bit of that vetiver. The vetiver is really soft in it. I feel like the vetiver is like what gives it that like uniqueness to it. Because I do smell it slightly. But this perfume is not at all even the slightest bit masculine i think this is such a feminine sexy perfume it's definitely like taking me back to like i don't even know i feel like i've smelled this scent before it reminds me a lot of this i'm gonna spray this on my other wrist so that i can kind of compare the two i feel like the reason why they smell so similar is because of that plum this is like a completely different vibe out of both of these the reason why they smell so similar to me is because the first thing I smell is like that plum. That plum is just like a bam. And yes, they do smell similar, but they're not the same. I wouldn't say that they're dupes, maybe slightly. Like if you were looking for like a plummy fragrance and you wanted to find something that was even less than this, although I feel like this is around the price that this was at Marshalls. I think the Rihanna one is a little bit sweeter and to be honest I feel like the Rihanna one is a little bit stronger to me. Everybody was making this out to be very very strong To me it kind of I mean it is it is like you spray this and it is giving me like Alien projection like it is strong. I definitely would have to wear it, but this is giving me sexy vibes all the way i'm picky with perfumes that's why i was really nervous to smell this because i feel like i've hyped it up so much in my head that i was like oh what if i don't like it but i'm obsessed i love this and yes it does remind me of rebel fleur but now that they're both dry down they are very different this one is more of like an intensely sweet plummy kind of fragrance and this one has that plum but you can definitely smell a little bit of that vetiver like it's a little bit more dark and mysterious and just sexy honestly sexy and sophisticated is like the perfect name for this fragrance every time i smell it now all i'm getting is just like sweet amber I definitely smell that amber i definitely honestly that plum amber touch of vetiver like the vetiver is super soft like my expectation is met if you have been wanting to buy this fragrance then this is your chance because it's 26.99 you can find it at marshall's if you have one near you if you have a marshall's near you go and pick it up girl i feel like if you love alien if you love this kind of vibe if you love that more kind of unique oriental vibe these sort of fragrances i mean rihanna is pretty crowd pleasing but at least these two i feel like they're not crowd pleasing because they are unique you know, when it comes to like a unique fragrance, something that you haven't smelled, a lot of people are going to have opinions, you know? Some people are going to hate it, some people are going to love it because it's not basic. The perfumes that everybody loves, the reason why everybody loves them is because they're basic. If you smell somebody with a nice perfume, you're like, oh, she smells good. But when you smell something like this on somebody, you're like, I feel like this is a head turner. And I would definitely say that this is like a night out kind of more like sensual date night sexy i was expecting this to smell like grass and to be very like a natural kind of fragrance super strong i was expecting to really smell that vetiver and i don't know i just didn't really know what i was getting but it was definitely not this i do get like a tiny bit of that like spice smell which gives it like something interesting and that vetiver in it is so soft but it adds a little something and makes it just so interesting and just not like a basic fragrance i would definitely say that this is like an oriental kind of perfume it's not something you smell every day it's a very like head turning 
wow kind of fragrance you know it has that wow factor just like alien has that wow factor i'm sorry to any of you that love this fragrance because i, I like it too okay I, I like smelling sweet who doesn't who doesn't love smelling like sugar and delicious well i'm sure a lot of people don't i feel like a scent like this everybody loves these kind of like sweet sugary scents it's a crowd pleaser but it's basic i think we can all agree it, it's basic but with these two, you're just getting uniqueness. I definitely have to see how it wears as far as performance, but based off of like every single review ever and even on Fragrantica, the reviews of this based off of longevity is insane. All of the votes here are that it's like super long lasting and every single one of the reviews that I've seen online has said that this is a super long lasting fragrance. I just filmed my um, what perfumes I think are the best for the fall and winter, like the sexiest perfumes for fall and winter if you want to see that go check it out i'll put it right here i wish that i had this for that video because this would definitely be in that video because this i feel like for the fall and winter is going to be beautiful because it has that sweet vibe and it's a little bit intense so this is just gonna thrive in the chillier weather even though where i live that doesn't really happen, but you better believe <laughs> I'm gonna wear this. I bet you if I go and give this to my mom to smell, um, she would hate it. She hates strong smells. She hates sweet kind of smells. The only smell that she loves, I've mentioned this in like every video, she loves um, Coco Mademoiselle. Like just that super fresh, clean kind of smell. These are like her kind of smells. She doesn't like this vibe. I'm out of breath because I just ran up and down the stairs and I'm severely out of shape. To conclude, I love this fragrance. If you are somebody that you love a stronger kind of smell, if you love this kind of smell, just a more original, unique, not super like crowd pleasing, you know, not a basic kind of fragrance. And don't get me wrong when I say that because I love basic fragrances, but you know what I mean. If you are somebody that likes perfumes like this, that are more, you know, chill, more clean, then this is not gonna be your guy. But I feel like if you watch any of my videos and you like my taste in all the perfumes that I recommend, and if you've seen my perfume collection, which I will also link up here, and if you see kind of like my vibe and what I like, and if that's your vibe too, then I think that you would agree with me that this is good. And let me know if any of you have this perfume, what you think of it, if you like it, if you don't, please let me know. I would like to know your opinions of this. That's it for this video. I know it was kind of like a shorter video, but I really just wanted to get that out just because if any of you wanted to get your hands on that fragrance, I just wanted to let you know that you could find it at Marshalls for $26.99. If you've been looking into getting that, then... It's very inexpensive, especially for a designer fragrance, and it's like ultimate sexy. Perfect for the seasons coming up. My next video will be a huge makeup haul, and I want to do a few more kind of makeup, maybe makeup tutorials or something like that. Please request any videos you would want to see from me. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>